Hi everyone, today I will teach you how to use Zoom Player's media library thumbnail view mode. To begin with, let's review the global settings. First, right click the, uh, the screen and select the options. Now that we have the advanced options, you can switch using this button. Open, navigate to interface, full screen navigation, thumb view. Now at the top you can see there are four sections. The first section shows the mini menu when pressing enter on a media file. Otherwise, when this setting is disabled, you can use shift plus enter to show the mini menu. The setting se second settings show the mini menu when pressing enter on a folder. You can still use shift plus enter to make it work if this setting is disabled. Let me sh quickly show you how the mini menu looks like. By pressing enter, as you can see, I now have four options which are the basis of the mini menu. If I don't touch anything, the mini menu will close after a few seconds or I can close it by pressing left. Okay, back to the options. The third uh, setting flashes the active thumbnails when certain navigation actions are taken, for example, when uh, going up a folder. The fourth setting creates additional scraping threads when the current thread time out when parsing a video. This happens when you have an incomplete or possibly corrupt video files which can take up to uh, 30, 40 seconds to be detected. In this case, the scraping uh, system may appear to be uh, inactive. By uh, adding uh, more uh, scraping threads, uh, you can simulate uh, um, better experience in this case, but it may come at the cost of a slower reacting user interface. Uh, this settings controls how the active thumbnail flashes due to inactivity for example, if you set this uh, to 5 seconds, the active thumbnails will flash every 5 seconds if you haven't done any action. These settings control where the thumbnail text appears, either below or above the thumbnail. Uh, you can customize the mini menu with uh, two custom functions. These, are, these appear in the top right and bottom right corners of the mini menu. Uh, you can choose from these six custom functions. In the future there may be others. As you can see, you can go back to the category list, you can go to the first entry in the thumb view list, you can go up a folder, you can switch the sorting mode, you can select the entry in case you want to erase it or copy it in another folder, and you can uh, erase then uh, the selected entries or the specifically highlighted entry. These are uh, same functions appear on the other custom uh, mini menu option. Next you can uh, control which uh, uh, settings uh, would appear when bumping the left or right section of the screen. Bumping is when you're at the leftmost column and you press left again, or the rightmost column and pressing right again. So here you can see we have five custom functions we can do. If we select do nothing, bumping left will go up one uh, row, and bumping right will go down one row. Uh, the other options are go to category list, go to the first entry uh, in the list, go up a folder or switch sorting mode. The same functions are available on the left and right bumping mode. Next, you can control the scrolling speed when using the keyboard. This is uh, the catch speed. So if you scroll really quickly down, how quickly will uh, the user interface reach the active thumbnail? So you can specify from very slow up to instant. With instance, you have no animation at all. Next, uh, you can choose how fast kinetic uh, uh, scrolling uh, uh, accelerates and decelerates from very slow to very fast. You can choose if uh, the font on the thumbnail text is outlined. You can choose skin de default enabled or disabled. 
when uh, extracting a thumbnail from a video file you can choose which position in the video file to use for the thumbnails right now the default is 10 percent of the video duration you can select the number of uh, maximum memory cached thumbnails I highly recommend not disabling memory cache or navigation will become a lot slower lowering the number can save a bit of memory a thumbnail takes about 7 kilobytes of RAM for each thumbnail if you are uh, watching uh, at uh, 1080p probably around double that for 4k here you can choose the maximum number of disk cached thumbnails these are actually per file one file may, ha may have more than one uh, image within it especially if uh, dealing with movies so uh, this value specifies the maximum disk space that will be used for the cache and lastly you have two blacklisting options if you don't want uh, folders to be blacklisted or you don't want file names to be blacklisted and you can use a bit of uh, masking here you can type a star before the file name to make uh, all file names uh, starting uh, with uh, sorry ending with uh, sample or you can do uh, sample and then a star after it for every file starting with sample and ending with anything or you can have a star at both the start and the end for example star sample star and this will mean any file name uh, containing the text sample will be rejected you can also use a uh, question mark as replacement for unknown digits for example if you do image double question mark it will mean two digits of numbers for example if you type image 0 1 uh, if uh, and, uh, it won't be included next we have uh, specific thumbnail category settings let me close this and open the category editor and I'll press the configure as you can see jukebox mode was explained in a previous uh, video thumbnail view is uh, what we have to have enabled for viewing in thumbnails when it's disabled list view is used this setting controls if thumbnails are cropped to uh, fit the entire uh, thumbnail viewable area or are scaled down and padded to fit the thumbnail area this uh, settings um, uh, uses a thumbnail from uh, the video file uh, in cases where online scraping fails this settings draws uh, uh, thumbnail uh, text using uh, data downloaded from uh, uh, the scrapers uh, these settings darken the thumbnails background these settings draw uh, a folder icon around the thumbnails when uh, uh, folders are drawn this setting uh, and these settings are specific to uh, v a movie or TV scraping and uh, I've covered them already in a different uh, tutorial different video and finally probably the most important in in this uh, dialogue you can choose the layout of the thumbnails uh, you can s uh, choose the aspect ratio and, and since uh, we're uh, demoing uh, wallpaper thumbnails I've set it uh, to wallpaper uh, aspect ratio for uh, an 1080p or basically any modern TV set you can select the number of uh, thumbnail columns the number of uh, text lines beneath uh, the thumbnail uh, the height of the text box between the number of lines and the height the font size is determined you can uh, specify the horizontal and vertical spacing between each uh, thumbnail okay let me demonstrate uh, a few of these uh, uh, features so for example this is currently the defa default uh, uh, settings I've set uh, for this category and now I will change 
the layout from uh, 16 by 9 to a square. So I'll open the category editor and change the aspect ratio to album art, which is square. And now I'm asked to confirm if I want to reset all the other uh, values in the thumbnail as uh, view layout to uh, the default set for uh, the album art. I'll tell it OK. And you can see the values here have changed. Press Apply, Close, and then I will reopen the media library. And as you can see, all the thumbnails are now squares. I'll quickly exit this, open the category editor again, and now I'll change the number of columns. Right now you can see there are seven columns. So I will change it from 7 to 13 and click Apply. And as you can see, we now have 13 columns of thumbnails. Back to the category editor. And now I will first I will restore it to the original 7. And I will change the spacing. I will reduce it to 4%. This is percent of the size of the thumbnail. So I click Apply, Close. And as you can see, now there's a lot less spacing between each icon. Uh, one more thing I'll do. I'll show you how the thumbnail can flash. I'll do that by opening the Options dialog and setting the thumbnail flashing to, um, for this demo I'll do it at three seconds, but I found that eight seconds is probably better. But I don't want you just waiting. So now you can wait three seconds and you can see that the thumbnail flashes. Every th three seconds, unless I take some actions like it won't, it won't flash if I keep navigating until I stop. Uh. And now a few tricks with the mouse. If you see, if I long press, a cogwheel appears. And after a few seconds, it disappears. But if I let go of the mouse button while it's visible, you can see the mini menu, which allows you to then uh, use the mini menu with uh, your mouse cursor. Thank you for watching this video. And come back again for other tutorials for Zoom Player.